I've been wanting to do a movie theater build in my valley for a while. And I just did my desert palace build that is already on my channel. And I thought, what would a desert palace have if you're going to like a rich resort type of vibe? I feel like this is where you would find like a really fancy movie theater. So that is what we're going to build. I bought a lot of furniture already from Scrooge's. So I should have everything I need. Um, we have to make some popcorn. So we'll do that after we finish the build to really finish it and give it the vibe. But I'm going to change my outfit. I was feeling like a cowgirl to today. So that's why I have this outfit. Let's switch to a snake companion, even though I don't think it matters when you get in the house. I wonder if the robot can go in the house with you. I haven't tried. Let's put him on. So for my outfit, I think I want to do something kind of fancy that feels, I don't know, red carpet-ish. Let's go to the dresses. I haven't worn like a fancy dress in the game in a while. I want something that feels like something I would wear to a red carpet premiere. This one's kind of a vibe. It's a little too long. Oh, this is kind of fun. This gives, like, movie vibes. Okay. I've never had my character wearing this dress in the game. And then I'm wondering, should I leave these shoes? I don't know. I'm kind of vibing with the, the cowgirl vibe. But let's switch to something fancy. And then I don't think we need a hat. Um, we're going to change the hairstyle. Gonna go with something a little fancier. So we'll do the updo. This is my go-to, but let's do an updo that feels a little more red carpet vibes. Okay. So now I'm feeling inspired. Let's go in. So when you walk into the Desert Palace, I have my nice, like, main lobby. I was going for, like, a vibe that if you walked into a, a resort that, that was that was this fancy, they would have, like, this gorgeous kind of lobby entrance with, like, this hookah tea area, a lot of beautiful decor. Um, maybe this is, like, I don't know, a fancy little side area. And then over here is where you would sit down and they would prepare you and give you all your information about your stay at the resort. Just like a beautiful lobby kind of vibe. And then we have our fancy kitchen. Well, this is where the people who work at the resort, this is where they cook all of their fancy meals to go and give it to, um, you know, the guests. Um, so you see how this aesthetic is already like I'm already building an aesthetic. So for the movie theater, I'm going to use the red banners, the doors. I might use the same gold wallpaper. We'll see. And I also want to add one of these fancy popcorn machines to it. So kind of continuing on that build and we'll come back in the kitchen to make some popcorn. I have not done anything on this side yet. So we are going to turn this into our movie theater. Okay. So first, I did grab a bunch of red carpets because I wanted the entire floor to be carpeted. We do have this flooring. Maybe I didn't need the, the other rugs. Darn, I bought all those rugs, although I do use the red carpet a lot. But you can see that this one is brighter. So I kind of want to like just cover the whole floor. Oh my God, don't tell me I can't. Why do they do this to us? They always do this to us. I wonder if it works in the other direction. Let's see. Because I might be able to do... Oh, oh, okay. It works in this direction. So we're going to do it like this. I do like the carpeting, but I think that this... These red carpets are just a lot fancier. And I want it to be very fancy. Oh, darn. It doesn't go down all the way. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Because once the furniture is on, we can move it around to fit better. Because you can't do it this way, right? Oh, can you? Oh, I might have found a loophole.
sometimes you gotta just see how things work. Okay, darn. Yeah, it just doesn't fill completely no matter what way you do it. And you can't overlap the carpets. That is going to drive me banana sandwich. I think what I'm going to do is try to place some furniture right there to like cover it so you can't really tell. Maybe I'll have the back be the area where it's open because then I can just have furniture there that will cover it. But now I'm thinking I should have done it the whole way down like this. If I was going to deal with that problem anyway, so it looks better if it's all going in the same direction. So at least then, it, yeah, that looks way better. I don't know what I was thinking. Don't judge me. And then that way the whole back is open and it looks, it looks better like this. This at least looks a little intentional. Plus in the back, I do have something that I want to put there. So, okay. And then for the wall, I want something dark, cozy, but fancy. Like obviously we don't want to do the dark wallpaper. The blue could be really pretty. I love that contrast. Um, let's see. We do have the, the curtains that could be really nice. I kind of like that, actually. There's also simple white wallpaper, but I don't like the white borders. This is nice, this brick. This could be nice for the back. Not brick, I'm sorry, the Arendellian wallpaper. I feel like that's the best, those are the best options for a movie theater type of build. Okay. And then for the back, I saw a picture, a picture on Pinterest. Um, okay, let me just put these down because we definitely are gonna use our popcorn machines. At least maybe one, we'll see. I do want to use the fancy popcorn machines in here. So you know what? I'm going to take those out, actually. I think the fancy popcorn machines are better. Do I have some of those? I bought so much stuff, and I think I forgot to buy the fancy popcorn machines. Okay. For seating, I wanted it to look fancy. So I'm going to use the old armchairs and just have them, like, together in a row. And I think I'm going to do two rows of i mean multiple rows and do two aisles of six on each aisle hopefully there's space for what i have in mind should i do three let's see i might do you know what? I might do it like this where there's space for stuff. I might do like two and two. I meant to do three. Yeah, three here and two in the front. I don't know. Because I like the idea of doing three, but I need more space for what I have in mind. Let's see. Because, you know, it's going to take a little trial and error, error to see if there's space for what I'm thinking of. So let's move this over. If not, we'll do the two and two. Let's, okay, that's already all the way over. So I had this idea of doing, let's do sconces. We're gonna do some sconces. And I'm probably gonna have to move things as I go to make sure things are even. But when I get into like a creative 
juicy moment where I'm like, okay, this is my my idea. Like I'm really liking this idea, and I'm thinking I, I want to get it out. So I start kind of just throwing things on, and then it kind of helps me to see what I'm doing, and then I can go from there. So I have this idea. Like in the back, we have like these bars. Like these are these little bars where people can go and grab snacks. And then I also had this idea of having like shelves up on the wall as well. So it could kind of look like these are like, you know, alcohol bottles up there. I like the idea of maybe doing these curtains. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see, we'll save those as like a finishing touch. Then I love the idea of having these like paintings so they kind of look like movie posters oh and they fit perfectly there okay do i like this one too we can replace one of these for this one switch it up a little so it kind of looks like movie posters kind of So now I had this idea of putting little tables and little pedestals next to the chairs, but I can't put two and two together because it just doesn't fit. It would be so cool if they fit like in between. Oh, actually, you know what? That kind of does fit in between. Cause I like the look that it's like a little table that can hold like a little lamp or some popcorn in between the seats. I was thinking about using a regular size table, but clearly that would not fit. So we're going to do it where it's like kind of staggered. Or maybe we'll do inside only. I thought I bought enough of these and look, I need more. I need one more. Yeah, I think one more right there. So what I'm going to do is put some lamps. I'm going to put some of the Beauty and the Beast lamps on some of these tables. Okay, I think that looks really cute. Maybe I'll do another one so it's kind of even, but I like that they're staggered. So I think I'm going to put the other one here when I get another one of these little um, thingies. Okay. I'm loving this already. Let me save this before my game crashes. I'm going to head to Scrooge's so that I can get um, another one of those pedestals. And then we also need to make popcorn. I didn't even realize we had popcorn in the game the other day I went through and I baked everything from Eternity Isle. Um, I have to do like the food items, but I didn't even realize that we have popcorn in the game now. So I remember we had it when we got it from Olaf and I held on to it because I was like, I love this for like decorating for certain things. But now we have it in the game, which is so great because it's one of those items that comes in handy so much, especially for different builds different dream snaps um like when we had the 
theme park dream snap i used popcorn in mine i saw a few other people and i ended up getting 4k um and like if you do a toy story theme build you definitely need popcorn you do a kitchen build you can use popcorn you do a movie theater build you can use popcorn you do a zoo build or an aquarium you can use popcorn like it's just one of those items that and then the way they did it too with the black and white um little container perfect 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 okay nine of them i think is good because we don't even need that many for the table Oh, greetings, neighbor.
This is so cute. I'm dying. I want to put like candy or something. This kind of looks like hot Cheetos to me. Or am I bugging? Like that looks like hot Cheetos. I might put it on the table as hot Cheetos. And then I think maybe some like boba tea could be cute. Some cookies. Like, come on, that literally looks like hot Cheetos. I think so. It, I mean, maybe not. Yeah, like that kind of looks like it could be like chips or some type of dessert or something. So I'm gonna go and make some boba tea and then any other treats that seem like it would work with this build. I wish we had other things like packaged type of foods, like bag of chips or something like that. But I think something that looks like a boba tea could be cute. Maybe some cookies or maybe we could do the macarons since they're like in a container. Ooh, you know what? Cotton candy could be cute. I'll do, yeah, let's do cotton candy. I think cotton candy makes the most sense for like a movie night vibe. We'll do three of those. And then I'm trying to decide if I want to do boba or, ch you know what, let's do boba. What color boba should I do? Let's do the raspberry to keep up with like the red kind of aesthetic. I'm thinking maybe one of the bags of seeds could be cute to almost look like um, pop, like a bag of chips or something. I mean, I have grape seeds and turnip seeds on me, but I don't know if maybe the grape ones, because you could kind of imagine that this is like a bag of like raisinets or something like that. Something that, or you could also, you could just imagine that it's some type of fruit snack but I feel like that could be cute as like a faux bag of chips I don't know oh you know what if you put it on the side it looks even more chippy <laughs> so cute
<laughs> it's like <laughs> I gotta do the music. <laughs> I'm obsessed. This is so cute. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm obsessed. I came out even cuter than I thought it would. We need like a big movie screen now, but I love that you could put Cinderella because it just makes it feel like you're really in like a theater where you're about to watch Cinderella. Hello. I love Cinderella. It's one of my favorite movies. I watch it all the time. So I was thinking about maybe putting another movie poster or something on this like empty space here, but I don't want to cr crowd the walls because I think the red walls make it look bigger. This came out so cute. If you recreate it, tag me. I want to see. I have an Instagram I'm trying to build up my gamer community over there. But yeah, it's done. It's so cute. <laughs> this is way cuter than I even expected it to, to be. Like, I'm obsessed. Now I'm hoping that we have a dream snap challenge, like movie theater challenge. Like, how? look how cute this is. <laughs> look at how cute the thumbnail. Like, I can't. I'm going to use this as a thumbnail. Mm -hmm. 